What's going on guys, John here from The Real Talk, back again with another video for you guys. First and foremost, I wanna say, uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, guys, with your family and friends. Hopefully you guys got a lot of gifts and ate a lot of food. Uh, I know I did. <laughs> uh, so with that out of the way, guys, it's time to get back to reviewing movies and what a movie I have for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing The Florida Project, directed by Sean Baker. Um, so my experience with this movie, like I like to do, I like to talk to about my experiences. Um, I, I saw this movie on uh, Flickster. I love that app because, you know, obviously it shows you the show times and the movies around you. But for some reason, it shows me movies that I have never really heard of, about before. Um, I'm kind of shying away from, like, uh, uh, I guess, like, movie news videos and stuff like that. So I guess I'm not really up to date uh, to uh, from everything that's coming out, you know. So um, I saw this one there about, like, maybe two months ago, maybe a month ago. And I was like, you know what, I, I want to see it. It's getting a lot of good buzz. Um, I will like, will love William Dafoe. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, so I went to go see it, and I, and I know that the director did uh, Tangerine, which was obviously, uh, uh, um, he got some uh, fame because, it's not fame, but it, it was um, known for being the film shot on the iPhone, iPhone 5S, I think. Uh, they use like three of them. Um so I want to see this movie, you know, I, I I don't think I've seen any of the previews. So I went in, I saw the movie, and I think that's how I'm going to go in now, guys. Just not seeing any uh, previews, uh, at least for these type of films. Um, so I loved it, guys. This this movie is, um, the more and more I think about it, I saw it last week, so I had some time to think about it. Um, the more and more I think about this film, it just really, I, I, I want to see it again. I really want to see it again. I can't wait for it to hopefully come out on Blu-ray um, to, to own it, you know? Um, because I, I want to see it again. It's one of those movies that, you know, you, especially the ending, the ending has a lot of, um, a lot of controversy, you know, around it. Cause it just, as this, I'm not going to spoil anything, uh, no spoilers, by the way, should have said that in the beginning of the video, but, um, it's just, it, it's just one of those endings, you know, that gets a lot of talk. So, um, but I had time to think about it. And like I said, the more and more I think about this film, I, I love it. I, I really enjoyed myself. Um, this these characters the story and the way that sean baker presents it and, and is able to balance a lot of things a lot of different things that could have gone really really bad and kind of been a lot uh, like a big mess if not handled well um first and foremost i want to talk about the cast and the characters um the main cast is like these little kids i oh man i'm forgetting the little girl's name um i think her name's like uh bridget i think I'm forgetting the little girl's name, but her character's name is Mooney, and she has a friend named like uh, uh, Jancy and Scooty, I think. Um, and they're just, you know, the movie begins, and they're just kind of, you know, just doing a bunch of different things, and that kind of, you know, brought a lot of uh, memories, you know, from back in the day when I was a kid with my friends, just doing a bunch of different stuff, you know, um, a lot of vivid memories that made me think of, you know. Um, and these kids do a lot, you know, go to like different places they're not, you know, allowed to. They go to abandoned houses. Um, they they try to uh, uh, get a lot, of, get some money to buy an ice cream and stuff. So it's a, it's it's a it's a it's a nice little way to introduce us to this world, to this story, these to where these uh, characters are, to its setting. And I, I think they're in a motel called uh, the Magic Castle. I think Magic Castle, because Magic Kingdom is. Is, is Disneyland, which they're right around the corner from. So this is it, this. That's another thing that I like about the film that it's kind of, it's it's. I don't know how to say it. it it's not ironic. It's kind of just, um, in a way, you know. There's the Magic Kingdom, Disneyland down the road, and then here these kids are, you know. I guess wishing they can go there, but they're still having fun. They're still having a blast. They're still being kids. You know, around these little motels where it's kind of, you know, there's a lot of sketchy people and stuff like that. Uh, there's a little scene where the girl, uh, she's like introducing Jancy. She's the new addition to the group. Um, that, you know, okay, this guy, this this guy here in this room, he got arrested or something. He always gets arrested. Kind of, you know, building up this this whole uh, place, this whole vibe uh, to this motel. Um, and it's just, it, 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 at first I just thought, like, where is this going? You know, like, where is this, like, it's just these characters doing these different type of things. But then you start realizing why the director chose to do that in the first half of the movie, maybe even to the uh, second half, to kind of connect you to the story, to these characters, to the setting, to what's really going on. So that way, at the end, um, it for at least for me, it just really uh, got me emotionally. You know, there's a there's a certain scene with the main character at the end that's just you know um, it really got to me, and and I thought that was a wonderful performance. Um, and we can get to that real quick too. Uh, the performance is this by the 
for the most part, for the kids, it's really good. There's like one, uh, uh, one kid that kind of uh, didn't really, you know, he, he was great, but uh, for some reason, I just, you know, I, I felt like he knew he was acting, you know, <laughs> uh, but it was also a great little performance. Um, but the main actress, I'm forgetting her name, but she was actually discovered on Instagram. Uh, I guess the director, I don't know how, but they, they she's from Instagram, you know, she's a model on there. Uh, but knowing that and the type of performance she was able to deliver, it's 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 amazing. She she's really good in it. She's great. Um, she's just she kind of plays this role of, of, of the mother of, of Mooney. Um, but she's like, it's kind of like this weird relationship. Um, they're kind of not like either like. I want to say like they're kind of like they have more like a sister relationship because I feel like this 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 mom's not really, she's not really old enough or, or she's too young to be a mom so she's kind of handling things obviously in a bad way in a really bad way she's she's a horrible mother you know <laughs> um but you know this relationship that you, that the sean is able to kind of build with these characters you kind of see that she still cares about mooney but she does certain things you know and but she still does those things to kind of provide for her to kind of you know you see them in the in the, in the shop you know in the, in the store kind of buying all these things and, and mooney's happy you know um and, and, but you know obviously to the expense expense of you know her you know doing different things and kind of sacrificing and kind of being a, a bad mom you know um i'm all over the place here i'm just talking about my positives and i'm thinking i'm going to continue to do that because to be honest guys i don't really have any negatives to this film not that i can think of um obviously the ending would have been one but i, I sat on this film and i kind of thought about it and i really like the ending i really like that it kind of um it fits to what 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 the story goes to you know at at the end of everything it's kind of like it it makes sense that these characters these two characters of uh, Mooney and Jancy kind of you know they do this it kind of it, it makes sense I don't want to go into it too much I don't want to you know go in depth and stuff like that and kind of go into spoilers you know in case you guys haven't seen the film but um <clears throat> yeah um so th those are the actors the little kids actors and um and the, the main mom I thought she did a really good job but. William Dafoe, he plays Bobby, the manager of the complex and stuff like that. And I didn't see William Dafoe in a lot of these type of movies. You can, you can see the actor, but I saw Bobby. That's his name in the movie. Uh, I saw Bobby, this manager who's kind of trying to get people to pay the rent, trying to fix things. And kind of, you know, always kind of in that kind of mood. Like, you know what? Like, leave me alone. Let me just do your job or just do this, you know? But at the end of the day, too, you can honestly feel that he kind of cares for the tenants. He kind of cares for uh, Mooney and Mooney's mom and stuff like that. And, and it's... Um, Really great performance all around. Uh, William Defoe's. I, I hope he gets nominated for Best Supporting Actor in this. I, I really do. Uh, uh, he he's just a uh, phenomenal in this movie. Um, so I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, the cinematography is is beautiful in this, and I think that uh, along with this film, uh, Columbus uh, I saw earlier this year and Blade Runner twenty forty nine have. I wish they could all be nominated. I, I'm pretty sure Blade Runner Roger Deakins is is, is, is always fantastic, but. I'm pretty sure that's going to get nominated. I don't, I'm not sure if this or Columbus is going to get nominated for Best Cinematography, but I hope they all do. So though, for me, those are the top three Best Cinematography because this Cinematography, I, I believe I saw some shots of Tangerine. He he used kind of some, some of the same elements in this. Um, but it's just these 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 kind of colors just pop at you and kind of grab you and kind of set the mood and tone for this movie. And kind of um, he's he does a great job in... And kind of presenting this kind of, you know, trashy motel and this kind of sketchy environment, but kind of making it pop and come alive, you know, with these colors. Uh, I think the Magic Castle's colors like this this weird purple, you know. Um, so I love the cinematography. The acting was, was surprisingly really, really good, especially from Willem Dafoe. The story, again, these characters, the way that Sean is able to tell the story and kind of in a non-traditional way as well. It kind of doesn't really set anything up until kind of like the latter part. You know, um, and I really like that. I really like these films that kind of, you know, have their own style to it in their own way and kind of break rules a little bit. So, um, Sean Baker, obviously, has to be praised for directing. Directing, this was phenomenal. Um, I was going to talk about the score, but there is music along the way in this the film in the beginning, the end. Uh, and obviously, the end, that score kind of has to do something with it. Uh, so, I can't really talk about it. I can't really say, you know, it has a good score. So throughout the movie, it doesn't have a score. There is music, though, you know. So, um, but yeah, with all that out of the way, guys, um, the Florida Project, um, I have to give it a, 
I have to give it a 9 out of 10, guys. I really love this movie. It's... It, I'm so glad I finally watched it. It took me some time to watch it, and now I did. So um, I highly recommend it if you guys are thinking about it, and if it's still playing around in some theaters near you. Um, I drove like almost um, 30 miles out of my way to see this movie, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I, I want to see this film. So I uh, highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, but if you guys have seen the film, as always, guys, you guys know what to do. Please leave me, uh, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. And guys, later on today, I'm going to be uploading my review for Call Me By Your Name. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube, you guys can at the Real Talk Talk with Two Ks. <clears throat> sorry, um, at Instagram on Instagram and Twitter. But yeah, guys, until next time, I'll see you at the movies later.